This video is on capacitors in series and parallel. So here I drew the circuit out, uh, and it's in series and parallel. Here we have one branch, and we have another branch, and this one's in series, but it's in parallel with this other branch. So in order to work this one out to figure out what the total capacitance of the circuit is, first thing I'd do is I'd work on this one right here, because this is in series. So uh, capacitors in series, you could uh, use this formula to figure out well, what they are. So, for two capacitors, that is. So here we have C2 and C3, and I would multiply those two and divide them by C2 plus C3 to get the capacitance in series. So after you do that, uh, I would rewrite the circuit like this. This is a C1 from before, it's still the same thing. And this C2 and C3, which is actually equal to CS, I would replace those two. Uh, with just a single capacitor, and then the then the circuit is just one of uh, where they're in parallel, C1 and CS, or the capacitors in series are in parallel, and then uh, capacitors in parallel, those just sum together, so you could just add C1 and CS together directly, and that'll give you the capacitance of the entire circuit. So basically, this is uh, this is what we did here. We took C1. Uh, which is in, it's in parallel with these two guys, C2 and C3. We combine C2 and C3, and then the circuit looks like this, where they're both in parallel. And then when we get to this point, we just add these two together to get this lone capacitor here, which is uh, the the total capacitance of the circuit. So now let's work out a problem. So here we have I drew the circuit. Basically, we have C1 and C2, which are in series and C3 is in parallel with C1 and C2. And we want to find out what the total capacitance of the circuit is. So first I'm going to start off with C1 and C2 because they're in series. So let's see, to solve for that we would say we would say the capacitance in series is equal to C1 times C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Uh, we could we could also use the this other formula where you have one over C S is equal to one over C one plus one over C two. We could use this as well, and this is the formula you would use if you have like uh, where if you have many uh, capacitors, and uh, this formula will always work. Uh, unlike this one right here, this one only works when you're dealing with two capacitors. So I'm just going to use this one because it's a bit quicker. So here we have C1 and C2, so here we have C1, C2, that's 2 times 2 over 2 plus 2. So this is just equal to 1 farad. So the capacitance in this branch right here is just 1. So now let's work on uh, C3 or actually the capacitance in, actually now it would be in parallel, so if I redrew the circuit it would look like this. This is a capacitance in series and it's equal to 1 farad. Then we have, over here we have C3, and C3 that was just equal to 8 farads. So if we get the total capacitance in parallel we're going to get CS plus uh, C3, uh, CS, or the capacitance in series, that's equal to 1 farad plus 8 farads from C3. And so the total capacitance in parallel is going to be equal to 9 farads. Which, actually, the capacitance in, in, in parallel is going to look like this. Which, in the end, is this circuit over here. It's it's as if you rewrote these ones, guys, right here, into this one right here. Which this capacitance in parallel is going to be equal to the total capacitance, which is equal to 9 farads. And that's how you would do that circuit. So I hope this made sense. Uh, if it did, please like the video, and uh, good luck in your classes.